AutoCAD for Windows has the Options command. AutoCAD for Mac has Preferences. Here you'll find a variety of settings that allow you to personalize AutoCAD to work the way you want to work. Let's take a look at the Preferences dialog and some of the powerful new features that you'll find inside. So how do we get into Preferences really easy? If you like to use the command line, you can come down here and click on the arrow, and here you'll see Preferences as an option. You'll also find Preferences in just about every right-click menu, making it really easy to get to. And hey, a little tip for those of you who are used to using AutoCAD that's running on Windows, you can actually still type in OP for Options, and that's going to take you into Preferences. On the left-hand side, you'll see that there are a variety of different sections that comprise the Application Preferences dialog box. So here we have the general option, which is what we're looking at right now. I love this feature, and I always have this selected. You can enable the space bar when you hold it down to do a pan. Now some of you are familiar with this option up here, which we have when we're using AutoCAD that's running on Windows. I have the ability to tell AutoCAD that when I do a quick right click, I want that to do an enter or a return. But when you hold the right mouse button down, it's going to give you that shortcut menu. I really like that because it allows me to basically kill two birds with one stone. And you'll find other options in here as well, like the automatic save feature and the ability to control the speeds of your zooms. Let's move on to cursor and selection, where here you'll find options that have to do with things like grips and your selection tools. In the upper right hand corner, I do feel this is an important option. I don't like to hold the mouse button down when I do a window. I just want to do two separate clicks. So it's completely up to you whether you want to do a click and drag or not. Next on the list is units and guides. Some familiar settings you'll see in here. Do you want the coordinates to display on your drawing? What do you want to have happen when you insert a drawing that's set to unitless? And I love this feature here. It came out inside of AutoCAD 2011. It allows you to control the default scale list that appears when anybody does a reset for their scales. Now there's two different groups here, Imperial and Metric. You're going to want to make sure that you only have the scales in here that you use at your company. Keep this list nice and short and sweet, and you're going to go a lot faster. <laughs> Those of you who use a lot of XRFs know exactly what I'm talking about. Now the look and feel of AutoCAD is really important, right? You'll see options in here that control, you know, what does it look like on the screen when you're working in it. Now there are two themes in AutoCAD for Mac. There's dark and there's light. It actually defaults to dark, which is a little bit too dark for me, so you'll see that I prefer the much lighter version. You can control the colors and model space and paper space. Very familiar options so that you can set up the perfect drawing environment. Moving along to application, this is where you specify the paths that AutoCAD should search for specific file types. You know, where do you want it to look for support files or for customization files? Now one thing I really like to set in here is a default template file for QNU so that when I execute the QNU command it's not going to ask me any questions, it's going to launch right into a new drawing. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and just double click on here where it says none because I do not have a default template file specified. And then you're just going to select the template file that you find yourself using the most. I'm just going to use ACAD for now. And from this point forward, when I use QNew, no questions asked, just a brand new drawing. So what else is in here? Well, you can add directories, you can remove directories, and you can also modify the paths of any directories that you have listed above. If you accidentally <laughs> delete some of your messages, you can bring them back if you want to by doing a reset. And this one's really important. Reset application options. If things go terribly wrong and you want everything to go back to the default, it's not a problem. This great tool, just click on this button, it'll put everything back to the way it started. But I should let you know that it's going to require that you exit AutoCAD and come back in in order for those changes to take place. Last but not least is document settings. This is where you'll see options for 2D display resolution, 3D display resolutions for things like arc and curve segments. Now I should let you know that these settings are only valid in the current drawing and if you want to make these changes defaults for other drawings you need to actually go into the template files and set them up in there. One last feature, a feature that I really wish that we had in AutoCAD running on Windows is this search feature. I've showed you a lot of settings, right? It can get confusing. AutoCAD for Mac is going to help you out. All you need to do is start to key in whatever you're after, and AutoCAD is going to help you find it inside of the Preferences dialog box. I mean, just how easy is that? Be sure to use Preferences to customize your AutoCAD for Mac settings. After all, you want to feel as comfortable as possible in your new AutoCAD for Mac software.